a fully interactive website for your community or homeowners association. It makes a lot of sense. The 24-7 online convenience will improve communication, connect residents, streamline processes, and can even bring revenue into your community. But how do you, as an administrator or board, get residents to buy in? There are probably some residents who may be a little intimidated by technology, or some who don't fully understand the value and benefits of a website, or in many cases, there could be residents who just never realized they even had a community website. Getting your residents to fully engage in using their website is the springboard to making your community stronger, more efficient, and happier. Today we're going to give you some easy tips to help you make your community website the best possible information resource for your owners and a successful communication tool for your association. First we'll cover some basic steps to help you get the website ready to be introduced to your community. Then we're going to talk about some simple ways to announce it and promote it to your owners. And last, we'll give you inspiration and ideas to help keep your website content fresh and updated so everyone will want to come back and visit on a regular basis. We'll focus on giving you suggestions in these three key areas as you move towards making your website the central communication hub for your association. Maybe you have a brand new community website that you haven't even introduced to your residents yet. Or perhaps your website has been up and running for a while, but you'd like to increase the visibility of the website and make it more useful to your owners. Even if your site has been online for several years already, you can benefit from these suggestions to help bring it back to life and make residents aware of everything your community website has to offer. Let's say your website is online with a pretty design and a beautiful home page picture of your whole community and you've chosen all the different menu items that you think would be helpful. Documents, announcements, a community calendar. You've even got your website address all set up so it looks like you're ready to go. However, before you take that next step and start telling owners to visit the site, you have to be sure that your website is ready to meet the world. No matter how lovely the home page looks, if owners log in the first time, don't find any documents, interactive forms, or other resources they're looking for, they might not be back to visit anytime soon. Luckily, using our easy internet editor tool and online training classes, any website administrator can learn to add content to all of the feature pages quickly and easily. You also have at home net support staff available by email and phone, so we never leave you alone to figure it out by yourself. First, we always recommend getting another volunteer to help out if you can. You can set up as many administrators as you need, and almost anyone can help out with adding website content because no programming skills are necessary. You can even set up different security levels for your administrators, so other volunteers can help out by adding information about the book club meeting or pictures from the pool party. But they don't necessarily need to have access to edit all the areas of your website. Our support staff can help you set that up. So let's get started on some important ways you can get your website ready to announce to your residents. You've probably already got great ideas on information you want to add to your site, but first, be sure your resident address book is fully set up. As you may already know, our support staff will upload all your resident contact information for you initially, and create logins and passwords for all the owners. So be sure you've provided us with an Excel spreadsheet of owner names, addresses, phone numbers, and as many email addresses as possible. This allows you to reach out to owners using the email bulletins feature. It's one of the best ways to both communicate information to your residents and to encourage them to use the website. You can also create any different address book categories you might need, such as property management contacts or your security office. You can assure residents that the address book is only available to owners who have logged in to the private side of the website. Owners can also edit their own profiles and elect to check a box that will hide their phone, address, or email so that only an administrator has access to it. Even other residents won't be able to view their information. Totally up to them. For our TOPS, GenArc, and VMS accounting software users, you'll want to be sure that you work with our support department to schedule the upload of owner data into the website from your management software. This allows automatic updating of owner information into the website address book on a regular schedule. Owners can log in to their private profile anytime and access their community account balance, payment history, work order status, and more. This adds a whole new dimension to the website as a resource for the residents. Next, be sure you have all the public and private menu items set up just the way you want.
and you can also create special areas like tennis news or other pages that might be unique to your community. Remember, you can add and delete menu items and set up new pages easily anytime, so it's best not to display menu items for pages where you don't have any content yet. That way owners won't see any blank pages when they first visit the site. Set up your public page with information that you want everyone to view, including real estate agents, interested home buyers or renters. You can add a realtor information page or a link to buy closing documents. It's also nice to have a photo album on the public page showing off all of your amenities like your clubhouse, the playground area or the community pool. Don't forget, you can customize your What's Nearby feature. This is a link that shows the location and address of any point of interest that may be helpful to your residents, like a school, parks, hospitals, any kind of business such as fitness centers or movie theaters. You can choose just the categories and services you want to use, and the feature integrates with Google to display the maps. Also, if you have a professional management company, you can list their contact information to be displayed on either the public or the private side of the website. It's totally up to you. Next, we suggest you create an inviting owner welcome page. This is the first page your residents see upon logging into the private area. You can customize the welcome message that owners see at the top of the page and even elect to set up feature widgets. These are small versions of features that you can embed in your resident welcome page. It's a great way to put the most important information right at your owner's fingertips. In this example, we can see the user profile, events calendar, and the announcement widgets. Many different features can be set up as widgets just by editing the resident home page, and your owners can check out the most important website news all in one convenient place. You can also add a customized pop-up notice here. This can be any short notice that you want to pop up for the residents immediately upon logging in so they can't miss out on an important announcement about the due date for an assessment for example or a notice about the annual meeting. Everyone is used to doing business online now so it's vital to preload all of your association's documents and e-forms. You can take almost any paper form you use for community business and set it up as an electronic form that can be filled out by the owner and submitted online 24 hours a day. What a great time saver if people don't have to call the management office to order pool keys, for example. Or fill out an architectural request form. or submit a maintenance order. You can easily create almost any type of e-form and then let everyone know that they can get faster service and have the option to submit their order day or night whenever it's most convenient for them. Moving on to our next tip, the calendar is a website must-have. If you have board or committee meetings, maybe a neighborhood book club or bunco group, you can add these events to the events calendar as a one-time event. or you could create an automatically recurring event. If there are upcoming neighborhood socials, community arts and craft shows, or even school and local government meetings, be sure to set these dates in the calendar before you announce the website to everyone. Next, we have announcements. This is a great way to set up different categories for all kinds of interesting topics and add the latest community information, kids sports teams, updates from the board, charity drives. You can enter any news that will be helpful to the neighborhood and it's so easy to add to the website. You can also set up an e-form for the residents to fill out and submit their own news to be considered for posting to the announcements page. That way the administrator can review the e-form and determine if it's information you want to include on the website.
getting input from the residents can help keep the announcements area fresh and timely. We also suggest that before you release your site, be sure to populate your board and committee pages. You can list the members of the board of directors, your various committees, and if you wish, provide a picture and their contact information. It's a great way to allow people to get in touch with the right committee easily when they need information and of course to encourage volunteers to join a committee and help out. With the popularity of Pinterest, Facebook, and all the online photo sharing options, who doesn't love to see pictures of themselves and their friends enjoying community activities? Be sure to set up your photo album with pictures from the recent pool party. even pretty landscape shots from around the area. Maybe create a Yard of the Month album. Or a gallery just for everyone to show off their pet pictures. How many of you have set up email bulletin subscription categories? This sounds complicated, but it's really very simple. As an administrator, you can visit the email bulletin page and create a list of categories for different topics of email news. Owners simply visit the website and click to sign up for the topics that interest them the most. This is important because you never want to overload residents with an inbox full of emails that they might consider useless or even worse, mark as spam. This way, tennis players can sign up for tennis emails. Swim team parents can get the latest information about swim meets but you don't have to bother everyone with topics that might not concern them. Of course you can always send your email to all owners, but setting up different categories so owners can click to subscribe helps you get the latest news to those who really want it. For those of you that have amenities you'd like to highlight, your website is a great way to show off your tennis courts, a gorgeous lake view, or the kids play area. Any common areas of the neighborhood you want to draw attention to. You can add multiple pictures for each amenity and also outline any rules or regulations. Like for instance the hours of operation for the exercise room or rules for the swimming pool. Did you know that if you have clubhouse rooms or other amenities that require a reservation, there's a feature designed specifically to allow owners to create online reservations? Just talk to our support team about setting up amenity reservations on your website. It's a great way to drive residents to the website and save a lot of time for the manager. You can either set it so the reservation has to be approved before it's booked, or it could simply be automatically approved. Whatever works best for your community. Many associations have found that adding an online payment option for owners to pay dues and assessments with a credit card or e-check is a highly useful feature on the website. Owners love the convenience and can use Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or even their debit card. This gives them another reason to use the website. Another very popular use for the website is the classified ads feature. Your association can make a bit of revenue off local business or allow residents and others to advertise on the site for free. It's totally up to you how you use this feature because you keep any revenue you earn from selling classified ads. You can contract with local companies to place ads for their services, like landscaping and home repair. And what owner wouldn't benefit from a discount coupon for the local pizza parlor or dry cleaners? It's helpful to both the business and to the residents looking for services. Some associations allow owners to post items for sale or promote their own home-based businesses at no fee. You can even set up a special kids' businesses area 
to highlight those helpful after-school dog walkers and lawn mowing teams that are located right in your own neighborhood. Now that every area of your site is full of helpful information and events, you're ready to get the word out. These next tips will help you promote your website address and be sure residents know how to find it and why they should visit it. Believe it or not, in some cases residents just don't know they have a community website, especially if they're new to the neighborhood. Getting your residents to fully adopt the website as the official communications tool for your association is the springboard to making your community stronger and much more efficient. It can even help increase compliance with rules and regulations, so making sure everyone knows how to access the website is critical. Get some nice signs announcing your website address. For example, place them at your entrance, at the clubhouse, or in the elevator. Even if you've had your website up and running for a while, this is a great way to keep the website address visible to everyone as they come in and out of the community. They're nice looking, not very expensive to purchase, and your residents, local real estate agents, and other visitors will know exactly how to find your association online. Also, put up a banner at your annual meeting and social gatherings to announce the website address. And then collect owners' email addresses and encourage them to log in and update their own profile information in the website address book. In the administrative area of your website, there's an admin welcome info page where we've loaded example documents to help you announce your website. You'll find templates for announcement flyers, letters, feature lists, and even our complete list of the top 10 ways to promote your website all stored conveniently for you in one place when you're ready to launch your website. A great way to get residents excited right off the bat is to make the website experience interactive. Create a contest around the website when you announce it. A few examples might be a photo contest where residents could submit their favorite pet photos or set up a website scavenger hunt. Just create an e-form with questions like, what is the address of the yard of the month? Or, who is the chairman for the social committee? Then reward the first person to submit all the right answers with a gift certificate. The fun of the competition will encourage everyone to get involved. Speaking of interactive, we know residents love to put in their two cents, so why not ask the board to create a survey about an upcoming project? Asking everyone their input on changing the hours at the pool, starting a new committee, or updating the clubhouse furniture, you'll get all the owners involved in decisions that will affect their lives and their checkbooks. And you can even let them know to log in and participate by sending out the community survey email template that is already created and ready for you to use. Along that same line, post some message board topics about current projects or areas of interest. Maybe local road construction or even new housing developments being built nearby. You can create as many categories as you wish and residents can post their own topics and responses within those categories. Once a topic is started, owners can click to subscribe to that topic and receive any new posts in their personal email. It's a great way for everyone to keep on top of community issues they're interested in. Another way to encourage everyone to visit the website is to use your email bulletins feature and send out special notices and association updates each week or even specific news for certain clubs or groups like 
golfers or the neighborhood watch alliance. When owners realize they aren't on the distribution list for the most up-to-date information, they'll quickly add their email address to the website profile. Plus, your email bulletins feature has a selection of templates already created for you with eye-catching graphics for all types of occasions, even one for announcing your new website. Just click on Email Bulletins and search the categories. You can cut and paste the announcement about your new website into the template, provide a link to the website address, and even highlight some of the features. You can then click a box to include each owner's private login and password information in their email, another way to encourage them to log into the website. Many associations also use a community newsletter along with their website, so they can offer both an online information portal and the paper newsletter for those that want it. Definitely include information in every edition about how owners can request a login to your website and highlight some of the important resources and interesting features that they'll find there. Of course, you can use our Newsletter Builder feature to create your newsletter, post it on the website, or email it to everyone as an attachment to an email bulletin. Once people get used to accessing the website for all the latest news, you can print and mail less copies of your newsletter and hopefully reduce expenses. Do you distribute a resident welcome packet to each new household? Add a flyer in every welcome packet announcing the website and outline the helpful information and interactive features they can find there. You can pre-assign new owners a login or let them know they can request one from the website by just clicking the request a login button on the public page. Be sure your login administration feature has been set up so you can approve new login requests with the click of a mouse. Encourage everyone to take advantage of features that can help them. If you allow garage or tag sales in your neighborhood, you can set the security level for this feature so residents can post their own garage sale on the website themselves. Promoting the time and date and listing the items they're selling. You also have the option to set the security level for a few other features. Owners can post things like homes for sale and homes for lease. Who doesn't want to use as many options as possible to advertise their home? Allowing owners to post content in a limited number of features can help build more fresh content and increase usage of the website. Once you have your website set up, you definitely want to let your board members know how they can use these helpful features in the board-only area to streamline the administration of various projects and help ease the burden of being a community volunteer. The more the board members use the website, the more value they'll find in helping to add new content and keeping it up to date. You can preset a higher login security level just for your board members, allowing them access to these special features of the website. One feature here allows for the posting of private board documents, proposed budgets, board reports, the vendor list. Any document they need for a meeting or project can be accessed 24 hours a day, and they are all secure and can only be accessed by the board. As you can see here, you also can offer the board a private message forum. Board members can post a comment or a question on various topics, and only other board members can view and post additional remarks in this convenient online forum. It's a great way to cut down on those never-ending email chains about board projects. The most helpful feature for board members may be the Task Manager tool. Once you set up any board or committee project in the Task Manager feature, members of that team can add notes, update other committee members working on that task, and streamline the process. 
the task manager is a big favorite among architectural approval committees. The homeowner submits an e-form with all the specifications of their architectural change request and the data from that e-form flows right into the ARC task area. Members can then review the request from the convenience of their home or office along with pictures or attachments and even vote yes or no all by using the task manager tool. It's a great way to bring efficiency to the review process and spend much less time in meetings. If your association or management firm uses certain management accounting software programs, you also have the choice to add integrated options that your board and manager will love. Be sure they're aware that board reports can be uploaded directly from top software to the board only area for viewing and printing. Also board members have access to view a summary report of all association work orders. Plus, if your board members wish to view and approve community invoices on the website, the TOPS AP online approval can be activated at no additional fee. All of these advantages can bring your board productivity to a higher level all while making volunteering as a board member a lot less painful. So now you've got everyone visiting the website to access the latest documents, fill out e-forms, and check out upcoming events. The last but most important way to increase use of your community website is to be sure you add new content on a regular basis. Owners are going to keep coming back to the site consistently as long as they know they'll find the most up-to-date information. Luckily, many of your features like e-forms, amenity information, FAQs and other areas don't need to be updated very often. They're a constant resource of information for your owners. So what are some simple suggestions for adding fresh content to your site? It only takes a few minutes to insert new information to areas such as meeting minutes, calendar events, and announcements. Just add an event or announcement from a neighborhood club or committee each week. or link updates from the crime watch area of your local police department. Like we said before, if you have committee members or other volunteers that can help out, you can give them access to update certain areas of the website. What easier way to keep content fresh on your site than to have it update automatically? If you don't use it already, be sure to add the Instant Articles feature to the widgets on your resident homepage. Instant Articles are professionally written magazine style articles that are a great addition to your site. And you can select the article topics you want to use from many different categories. You can choose from do-it-yourself home repairs, healthy meal ideas, and pet care just to mention a few. You just select several categories, switch them out anytime at the click of a mouse. The articles refresh so you have new content all the time. We mentioned setting up the photo gallery before you release the site and holding a contest for residents to submit pictures. But to keep everyone coming back, be sure to set up an album for every new community event. The pool opening in the spring. Fourth of July fireworks. Even neighborhood movie night at the clubhouse. Remind everyone about the photo album you created just for pets. Residents just can't seem to get enough of submitting pictures of their adorable dogs and cats, guinea pigs and goldfish, and it's frequently one of the most popular photo albums in the entire site. Next, be sure to keep those website surveys active. Is the board working on a new project at the clubhouse or considering upgrades to the entrance signs? Post a new survey about the topic and then send out an email bulletin to announce your survey. So we hope we've given you some easy tips to help set up your site, promote it to the owners, and make it the best resource for your residents and visitors to get the latest information about your community. Don't forget, before we wrap things up today, 
Any administrator can join our online training class for new administrators, which is offered every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Any approved administrator can sign up, and there's absolutely no fee. Just visit our website at www.athomenet.com to see a list of all the webinars on our training page. You can also access training videos from the At Home Net website. We offer short tutorials on how to use all the website features, and you can find information videos on all of our services. It's a great way to learn more on your own time, and there's no charge, of course. Additionally, six times a year we send all of our administrators the At Home Net Gazette. Be sure you're receiving our email newsletter. It's a great way to keep up with new features and services we introduce and get helpful tips from support, company news, and of course, read about our community in the spotlight. Last but not least, use our wonderful support staff. They're here to help our administrators from 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. You can also email us on the weekends and we track every inquiry systematically to be sure you always get your answer in a timely manner. No question is too hard or too easy. Your website has a virtually endless number of options to fill just about any communications need you can imagine. And we're here to help you realize all of the goals that you may have to take your community connectivity to the next level. I hope you found the information today helpful. And keep in mind that our features and enhancements within the websites are always growing, based largely on the interactions between our support staff and you. So the best really is yet to come. Thank you for watching, and be sure to visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash at home net, where we have over 100 videos available to you anytime you'd like to view them.